Good morning, mathematicians. We are looking at unit five, and this is lesson 11. We're making sense of decimal addition. In this cool down, we are asked to combine two different decimals. I have highlighted in yellow this first decimal, which is one and 20 hundredths. And in blue, we have 13 hundredths. We are to explain or show our reasoning. Well, the first thing that I want you to think about is in this unit, or rather in this lesson, we have been able to use our own strategy to combine decimals, particularly in the tenths place and hundredths place. If we were using base 10 blocks, we would use a square to represent the ones place, right? We would represent an entire rod, which is 10, single hundredths to represent the tenths place. So this shows one and two tenths or one and 20 hundredths, right? Now I'm going to use blue to draw base 10 blocks. These are going to represent the 13 hundredths. I do see a one in the tens place, so I'm gonna represent that one with a rod, which of course represents 10 single hundredths, and I would have 13 singles, right? So here is one single, here is another single hundredth, and I have one more single hundredth to make three hundredths. Now this, boys and girls, remember, represents decimal, one in the tens place and three in the hundredths place. I can put a zero here because this did not have a whole number. So I'm gonna circle in blue this because I've represented 13 hundredths in a model of base 10 blocks and also in its standard form. Now I've done the same thing with my one and two tenths which also is one and 20 hundredths. Now, if I circle these, we could think about how we would be able to combine these values. If I were to combine the base 10 blocks together, what I would find is that I would have one in the ones place. I would have one flat, which again is that 10 by 10 array of hundredths. I would have one in the ones place. Now, when I think about the tenths place, I'm gonna think about how many of these rods I have. Well, I have one, two, three. So I'm going to draw that with one, two, and three. I'm now gonna put that in standard form to have a three in the tenths place. The last thing I have to look at are these singles. Now I don't have a digit here in the hundredths place other than a zero. So there are no hundredths to report in the yellow model that I have, but here in the blue I have three. So I'm gonna maintain those three here in my hundredths place. And in this way, I have a three in the tenths place, but I also have a three in the hundredths place. So here I'm going to write it out and in this way, I am now seeing the sum. I have combined my yellow model, my blue model, and I have created this new red model which shows the two parts together. And I have gotten to my answer, which you should get to as well, which is one and 33 hundredths.